for sure. If you meet friends and then, you know, you can get through, bring them along to Tokyo, like one of these guys is going to do it in either case. But like we were saying before with Adam, you want to be the one that at least brings the other guy. You never want that lingering over your head because you're going to have to deal with it later on in some way. We're seeing it back now. We've got the Ciara. We've got the Dark Robo. Cigar coming in with the Vanessa. Going in with the Vanessa, does he lock it in? No, goes for a Gianna. So that Hagen was more of a setup for the Gianna to come later in play. However, there are a lot of comps where Ciara plus uh, Hagen don't do, or not the Ciara, the Gianna plus Hagen don't deal that much damage. And currently, the whole draft is most not that much damage yet. But we see Nev actually going on a Zibala. So he's going to go on the full Sierra, Dark Robo, Zibala, if he's so pleased to lock it in. He's going to be looking for another uh, stripper, but that other strip. He has to keep in mind, he has been, or he has to fight that Heigang. He does have to fight that Heigang. I was just looking at the win rate for Heigang in SWC, say, currently on 45%. However, in Europe, up to 57 So it can be very strong because we know that there's the Giannas floating around. There's other contests for it as well. Vanessa being picked up now by Isma to get a speed lead in there. Yeah, definitely looking at that speed lead. But the Wunsa, you saw the face of Ismo saying like, oh, I did not expect it. And I think it, Nef also does have a Wunsa, right? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I have I, I'm not 100% sure about it. Well, if he locks it in really fast right now, that would definitely... But he has to go for an AoE strip right now. And I'm not 100% sure if he has a Moonsa. No, he has to go for no. another Robo, so probably doesn't have the Moonsa. In this case, big question, is that Heigang still going to be banned? Let's find out. Do you take out the speed lead? Do you take out the Heigang? Because on the other side, we've seen Zubala come into great effect for Hans lot in that previous match. Say, who else? Yeah, it's definitely the big question also, like, you can take out the one speed lead, does take out the speed lead on the other side, we have the Dark Robo being taken out. Yep, so he's likely going to get speed lead on the side of Neff with that 33 and the attack lead from Gianna right now. How fast has Ismo ruined here to try and do something against Neff? It's our SWC 2024 Europe Cup semi-finals between Ismo and Neff. Zubala taking that first turn. Maybe the Robo's going to cut anyway, they'll say. Yeah, you definitely go for a boost on self over here and then hoping that your Robo pushes back enough. Let's see, it does go Ooh. for a good amount of pushbacks. We do have the Masha moving next, but after the Masha, I'm not 100% sure if that Cigar will move. Ooh, resisted the pushback there, say. Defense break coming out. Can you take down a Robo? Don't think you can take down the Robo. Does do a Ooh. good amount of damage, but we have the Sierra moving next. Does Ooh. not land on that Gianna. <laughs> and you can see Ismo and Neff's reaction to that one right now. Maybe looking to use third skill anyway. Yes, does decrease the attack bar, but Heigang going to be coming in. Stuns. Stuns. Or the pushback does get the pushback. And the pushback actually did not do enough because oh, also the Provoke did not do enough. We have another magical time. We have once again good stuns coming in, but also increased cool time. Yep, and Robo can look to go for the skill three, but obviously Marsha does have that immunity on at the moment. Going in for the Gianna, gets one, and it hits that Marsha second. Right around the Marsha. So all eyes are on the Marsha for Ismo right now. It has to be taking out multiple wind units, but it's definitely something she could do. Definitely she can. And Oliver coming in right now can just keep reducing those attack bars. Maybe boost up the Robo again if it's got another skill two coming. You could go for the Robo Boost, you could also go for the Sierra Boost. There's a bunch of options that are definitely not too bad. In this case, you would do a lot more damage to that uh, Marsha, so I definitely like that play. Yeah, get rid of the immunity as well on her side right now. Can look to push back as well with Oliver if choosing so. But Sierra does cut. Does she have bomb? Uh, I think she's still one turn away from... No, she does have the bomb already, so can land it, does land it in this case. Yep, and now can just cycle using that skill one right now. If she gets an additional turn, she'll probably be dismounted. Yes, exactly happened over there. We call it also the cast, the curse, the additional turn, the moment we call it. But in this case, it was just a dismount. The unit is not gone yet. Yeah, she's still going to do a lot of damage, even though she's dismounted there, say. But Ciara coming through again without bombs. She's just going to have to try and cycle. She has to cycle. Also, the skill one damage is not doing that much. Just 500 per hit. So all of that is probably a minus fire. Could be minus fire, but definitely in bomb damage. Does he have it? No, but we can look to get a provoke maybe out on that Oliver to prevent it from reducing the attack bars on the other side, say. Yeah, I definitely would have to say that you have to go for the Oliver right now because the Oliver still has most of the skills up. Also, the Sibala currently doesn't have that much skills up, so there is a window for Ismo to come back in this match. There is. Can you get stuns here, gang? You need to get it on the CR. She has bombs going up ready next. Ooh, that bomb is over there, but where do you place it? Could go for the Cigar, could go for the Masha. Does go for the Masha, definitely will take it out. Promise time, how much are we looking at? We're looking at 27k. That's a lot of bomb damage on that Sierra. Get in your artifact grind in there, say, right? And now Oliver looking to push back, getting the additional turn. Zibala does have skills next turn, I believe. Yeah, Zibala has skills and simply can go for another push up, uh, probably on that Sierra gift bomb back again. If you land that bomb, does actually go for magical time, does have glancing, so probably does not land, but the cold time increases. Do not care about glancing. Yeah, and look at that, getting that extra turn, landing another bomb, cleaning out the Gianna. 
Neff taking it to Ismo right now. A little bit of fun between both of these guys as well, since they are good friends. Yeah, definitely good friends over there, but Sierra's definitely doing a lot of work over here. And it's very interesting to see that Neff adapts a completely different playstyle, but still makes it work. Yeah, and there you go, the additional turn taking rid of that. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I was looking at the lap of uh, Neff right there. Yeah, that's just the great thing. I've mentioned it previously as well. Having those offline events, you can see the emotions of these players with the first victory going to Neff, and he's looking very happy about that one. He is, right? He almost looks a little bit embarrassed there with the laughs, but I mean, in all honesty, there's Ibala coming through with the Ciara. Missed the first bomb but it didn't matter in the end for him marsha getting dismounted really prevented ismo doing more damage right yeah absolutely <laughs> these players are just like having a goof with one another so i want to see all the way best of five between these two players hell yeah we're seeing julian and ragdoll they were last round pre-band they're back in the frame for this one who are we going to be seeing now for this one say maybe a yon hong coming out or yeah, there's still a lot of good options, like Gianna Ben is definitely one of those options, Jeon Hong Ben is one of those options. On the other side, Wajet has been using a lot, Secret, maybe not that much, but Wajet Ben is what we're going to see over here. Neff does not agree. No, he's not happy about that one. Obviously, it could have been his first pick, Gianna, as well, being taken out for the moment. Are we going to see a speed lead coming in straight away? A cigar coming out? Oh, hey, still in the heck? Oh. Still like that again. <laughs> I'm not too sure, like, we've seen it uh, with Scribble before, where if you have a Hay Gang, but you have, don't have a core team around it, it's not that great. But we have Cigar. We also, on the other side, have that Valaju plus a Julian. Yeah, Julian, we know how much damage. I actually saw the Julian of Ismo uh, earlier today, and oh my god, it's going to do a lot of damage. Neff has to know it as well, so how is he going to look to use against it? Chandra coming out, maybe to defend some of the other units, but it's going to be tough. Chandra and that Velojo over there. I think I called out the Vanessa's Velojo. They're very similar in icons. <laughs> Not close enough. Close in the name, though, but we have both of them on the field right here. Holy Trinity on the side of Nev. Ismo, how are you going to deal with that? Mostly did like to use like a Yeon Hong in this position. And there is maybe going to revolve more about the Bruiser set. We also have seen it before. Fire Monkey in this position. The Mayo Wang could do a lot of work. Twin Angels maybe even set up some defense breaks and push ups. But there he's going instead for the Ciara with the Yeon Hong. We know how brutal that can be, getting another speed lead on there as well. But Ragdoll's here to play with all those crits. Yeah, there's a lot of crits on the side of Ismo, so that's definitely something Ragdoll does like to pick up. But then the big question, does he also go for a speed contesting unit as in the form of maybe an Ethna or something? Or does he go to something, mm, the fire bike? Yeah, Ashur coming out onto the field and Dark Robo coming out. This looks very much like a hands a lot draft miners to Julian on the side of Ismo, to be honest. Yeah, definitely it does kind of look like it, but it's very interesting to see that both of these players have like a very wide adaption of multiple playstyles, and it's definitely shown here in this matchup. Yeah, let's find out if he decides to lock that in. He does on the side of Isma right now, looking for the bans. Are you going to be able to deal with that ragdoll? It's hard to deal with that ragdoll. I probably would remove that ragdoll. On the other side, I would be looking at that dark robe. But then the big question is, Yeon Hong skill too. Not most consistent skill, but does it land? Yeah, and if it does, maybe it allows a bomb from Ciara to come in. Maybe some skill two damage coming in from Julian. Get the stuns out. Julian taking out his respected ragdoll being taken out. So they were pre-banned before. Now they're banned in the matches. Speed leads for both of them. They're not happy with each other on that one. In our SWC 2024 Europe Cup. Semi-finals, set number two between Ismo and Neff. Yon Hong, is she going to go for that skill two already, say? I don't... Well, yeah, you, you're looking at the attack bars, the robo's moving anyway, so you could definitely go for skill two over here. But the big question is where? Goes into the scar, good damage into that scar. Are you going to go for multiple strips here so that the robo doesn't first have to strip, but right away can go for absorbing attack bar? Because that's mostly easier. Big question is, no, it actually wants to tumble full damage into that cigar, trying to take it out as fast as possible. Yeah, and just get it, but Chandra, they, you're going to have to go for the bomb and detonate it, but you miss oh. it! Oh. <laughs> Once again, does not land it. But the funny part is, Neff actually had the reaction of, oof, it didn't land, instead of yeah. having like the, yes, it didn't land. <laughs> he could feel that for him. He can now look to defend that unit that's not looking healthy. Going for the slows first, even though, oh, now we've got the immunity, so the robo can't come in. Yeah, the Robo, Ashur, once again, we have seen it time and time do a lot of damage. Also, 13.5k healing, armor break coming in, not at all. No, not coming in. High res on that Vanessa, it's likely used at the moment. Can he get the strips? Does get some strips and the Violent. Violent, but doesn't have any skill right now. Skill 1 can give it attack bar, does do a good amount of damage, but we have this Cigar to say something about that. Ooh. But once again, resisted. Resisted against the Yon Hong, but did get full provokes apart from that Robo. Can you look to deal damage into that Robo? The revive is still there though from the Vanessa. 
The revive is still there, and also the robot does have his skill two back again, unless Silence has something to say about that. Yeah, does he get the Silence? Gets that Silence as well right now, and the defend from the Provokes. Chandra's going to be dealing damage. Yeah, Chandra's definitely going to be dealing a lot of damage right here, and the robot without the skills can't do all too much, and I'm definitely looking at that bike taking over this match from now. Do you kill the robot now already, knowing that he's going to be revived, or do you try and set a defense break somewhere else? Uh, you can go for the kill, but you really have to, well, either hope for the additional turn. But in most cases, I don't think it was really needed because the Chandra and the Velagil would have taken care of the Robo from this position. Yeah, and they're going to be cycling through soon with Velagil coming in. Skill 1, probably enough to kill. Yep, that was exactly enough to kill. So even without that additional turn, it was probably enough to kill right there. And now it is a 3 against a 4, whereas all of the 4 units on the enemy side either are Despair or Violent. And your units, Yeon Hong for sure is not going to be on Violent. Cool times are nice, but it's just prolonging it out at the moment for Ismo right there. We're getting the Unrecoverable out as well, so Yeon Hong coming through soon. He needs, a pr he needs some additional turns. Yeah, it's definitely all eyes on that Sierra. If the Sierra can actually get additional turns in and maybe land a bomb here or there, that could absolutely work. Also, Yan Hong does have that charge vitality up, but it's probably not going to be taking a turn anytime soon because there's so much provokes, so many pushbacks, so many resets coming in. Yep, and now it's looking downhill for Ismo in this one. 2 0 up for Neff. He couldn't quite get enough through onto that cigar. The bomb miss, right? The bomb is, yeah, that's definitely something that we have seen it actually from both players already, or actually from all of the Sierra so far. There, yeah, it's really a blessing, but can also be a curse. Definitely can be a curse right now. And also, I think Ashua Fire by it continuing his streak of being a high win rate unit here in SWC, using a lot of other regions as well at the moment, but he's proving very strong here at Europe Cup. And he confirms it for the 2 0 lead for Neff in this one, say. Yeah, absolutely. But we have seen it actually both players. It went 2 all up and then 2 all down. So are we going to do the same repeat as they have been doing in the previous rounds? Or are we going to see a 3-0 right away? Yeah, Neff looks so relaxed as well right now. You saw Ismo there was thinking maybe a little bit twitching onto the iPad right now in front of him. And obviously it's going to be interesting to see if he can actually change things up. Yeah, let's see. We definitely maybe go back to like a Ragdoll kind of style of ban and then also a Julian ban. But does Neff then also go back to the Sierra, Sibala, Dark Robo and everything that way? Because if he starts looking in the first two, you know what's coming on the rest of them. And Ismo has played against that on ladder as well, so you maybe have your answer against that. Yeah, let's find out. Are we going to see Ragdoll? Are we going to see Julian pre banned out? Neff did it obviously very quickly because he sat back and relaxed right there. Ismo must be considering and he's changing it up for the Zabala. And Neff was exactly thinking that's like, okay, I was going to play that's a good band from you. Definitely is. Are we going to be looking for a cigar steal over then on the side of Ismo right now? Response last time from Neff was with the Ciara. Yeah, let's see. In this case, no Hey Gang first pick. We'll just go to that cigar. Comfortable picks. So in this case, Neff can also not really play the full playstyle of that Ciara Cibala Dark Robo and has to play like another this playstyle as well. But Chandra Velagil, never a bad playstyle. Never a bad playstyle here. Ismo has chances to look now. Maybe he can look for that Yon Hong with the Vanessa. He likes to go for that turn one when, op when the option is there for him. But obviously he couldn't snipe out enough last time because of the bomb resistance. Say, Gianna, another one that could get resisted. Yeah, absolutely, one that could get resisted. But in this case, he does give the opening for Neff to pick down a Hey Gang. So Ragdoll Hey Gang is definitely an opening he could go for right there. Ragdoll we see already on the field. We know Neff how he was against a Ragdoll player in that last uh, match for him against Rosa, and he managed to take it through the whole way. Who's he going to partner it up with here right now? The faithful old monkey. And Ismo, he's not happy with that. Don't steal my Mehuang. The male wing very well picked over here, but on the other side, a unit that actually a lot of the players have over here, but it's the first time we potentially see it in a match, the Han. Yep, Han and partner it up with that Dark Robo there. It means the speed lead can carry on through since he's got three out of the five being Dark units, say. So. Yeah, absolutely. So now the answer on Neff could still go back to that Hey Gang. I kind of do expect it as a ban, but then there's still the Ragdoll on the field that could actually take over based on those crits. But then again, would you actually like to play into a Gianna if your Hagen might be gone? It's interesting to find out. Let's see how Neff looks to respond here as well. The only sustain coming through that Vela Jewel at the moment right now. And maybe that Monkey there. You can maybe cycle through a little bit more though. That is a Verde Hill. So that Verde Hill is very much looking like a Gianna band to me right there. Yeah, let's find out. And for the other side right now, are you still going to be able to deal with that Ragdoll with all the crits coming through? 
We go for that Verdehill. We have seen it in the match with Hans a lot. It was very well successful. Yeah, we've got the speed leads on both of these guys right now. It's our SWC 2024 Europe Cup semi finals set three between Ismo and Neff. Can Neff get closer to Tokyo? Defense break set up. Defense break set up, but are you going to crit on this? This is the big question. Vanessa, how much crit rate do you have? Ooh. Did not get a crit, also did not get an armor break. In this case, how many crits are there going to be? That was actually, the robo did very well, very low crit rate. Actually didn't crit a single time, I think, in like 12 hits. Nope, didn't manage to get one running it slow. Not on the crit rate so far then, as you can see right there. Say so we've got that skill three coming in. Reset the Chandra. Definitely would go, well, oh, probably Vela. even the Velajul. The Velajul, the immunity is the one that's the most difficult. Plus, there's very likely that you won't push back nor provoke the Velajul. Mm -hmm. He's got the defense break option now on the side of hand going into that Velajul. Can you get it early? Ooh, got it on the very last hit, if I saw that correctly. But it's also interesting to also Ooh. go for both the reset and then also fully in the damage on that Velajul because Chandra <laughs> will have skills. Oh, and that skill too right now can do a little bit of healing. Can he set up a defense break somewhere as well? He can get the stun. Can you get the stun? But also, we had an additional turn on the enemy side. Can you also get it for your side on that Han? Because there would be a lot of cycling for this Han. Ooh, does get it as well right now. Critting more, though. There is a lot of damage coming Ooh. in. But also, the Mayo Wang, once again, monkey business is doing so much work. Oh, and landing that huge defense break on the Cigar right now as well. And he's provoked. So Ragdoll is going to be hitting him. Yeah, and that Ragdoll, we have seen it again. This Ragdoll does a lot of damage. Once again, increased cool time on that Velagil, but this guy was different. Yeah, still carries on going into it. Oh, that could be it. That's so much 13k on an arm break early in the match. Torrent going in for 18.5k. That's so much damage, but the Dot won't take it out yet. No, he won't. Deed, go for that first skill. Try and get some more additional damage over time there. Oh, big Violet Proc. Very big Violet Proc over there. The additional turn just rocking it in. It's definitely like the Fire Monkey and the Han are kind of juking it out, but the Robo has something to say about this whole match. Yeah, Robo cutting in those additional turns being crucial for him. Can you look to get some provokes? I don't think the additional dot will be enough in the end, but Monkey's coming. Monkey's coming. We do get another provoke coming in, so that provoke will definitely take out the unit. The big question is, do you go for the kill on the Han right now? <laughs> Ooh, did not manage to do so, but the big question is, Ragdoll, when are you taking your next turn? And if you crit, you're going to be pushing up Robo coming in soon with that skill one, but I think Ragdoll is going to be able to clean someone out. Uh, Ismo, Ismo is, is, is waving his hands for the additional turn, does <gasps> not get the additional turn right there. Is able to take out the Han in this case, does take it out. Fire Monkey, you are not that much on full HP, but still could make it work. Yeah, for sure. Even with the Provoke, it's going to be in. No, oh, the Provoke, but the second skill, that's what you want. That six and a half K healing. We still have the Dark Robot that maybe could do something about this, but it's getting very dire on the side of Ismo right now. Definitely is. Set up the defense break onto that Monkey. Get the additional turn. Robo's not going next, but that Ragdoll. The additional turn actually did make it that the Vanessa has his oh. pa has her passive back. So if you kill, it doesn't die. Oh, Ooh, there's a lot of damage potential coming in. Oh, it did manage to kill itself on the reflect of the Ragdoll. That part is still there. I even forgot about it. Ragdoll oh. is just so strong with that stun right now. Stunning. You can look to strip and get a defense break, but that Robo needs the additional turn here. Robo needs the additional turn, but I think there's very good odds that if the Robo even took that additional turn, it would have still killed itself on that reflex damage. Yep, and Vanessa, one versus two. I've never seen it before, and I don't think I'm going to see it again. Not against the Torrent. The moment you bring the Ragdoll on a little bit less HP, it's that Torrent kicking in, and that Torrent would absolutely one-shot that Vanessa. Yeah, he's there. He's not quite there still yet, but this is still the Torrent. Tenke and Neff defeats Ismo, the Battle of the Friends. He's going into the grand final. Neff has done it 3-0. And the two words of the day, monkey business. Monkey business, say. It was just a class act from Neff. And look at these two right now, hugging and breaking.